Hey everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Wanted to do a quick video about our new binding cutting jig. So a while ago we made a video about our previous binding cutting jig, and it was okay. Um, it, <laughs> I don't know why I made it as big as I did, um, but I did. Let me roll in a couple of pictures of that. So here is the old binding jig, and as you can see, it's sort of been relegated to storage area. But it has these, you know, it's got an articulating set of, I don't know, that box probably needed to not do that. It, and it rotates around. It's got this Lazy Susan thing built into it. And uh, I made a video on it. I'll show you that. But here is our new binding cutting jig. And as you can see, it is quite a bit smaller of a footprint. And what we did is we essentially just reverse engineered the uh, Stuart McDonald version. And we, um, we were able to reuse some of the uh, components from the previous unit, which is this um, plastic base here. You'll need to make one of those uh, for yours. And as you can see, it's got this kind of little donut here. And so it rides over the guitar body top and is allowed to kind of move up and down on the, on the instrument. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to the uh, place where we got this gimbal and the um, uh, these little rails here and the wheels here is a place called Open Builds. Like I say, I'll leave you a link to that. Um, using my rigid laminate trimmer, it is still working very, very well. And of course, the Stuart McDonald uh, binding cutting bits. So the new binding cutter routing contraption deal works great and um, it takes up quite a bit less of a footprint which is nice because as I've told you many times I have a very small shop. Every so often this guy kind of wants to fold out of the way so sometimes what we'll do in the video I'm about to roll in we'll just put like a little bit of a, of a bungee cord on there to kind of help it stay uh, upright and not sag into the piece. So if you want to make your own one of these, it's actually really easy. This is just some, uh, this is some 8020, I believe it is, extruded aluminum. And there's lots and lots and lots of pieces that go with that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, hey, but enough of my yapping, let's see this thing in action.
Automatic. All right, so here's the guitar that um, you saw in the video, and as you can see, it is now bound, and it is this hilarious double neck <laughs> contraption. But um, so you see, this has a comfort contour on the uh, arm, and the binding guy just sort of rides on the top of the guitar, and anytime you have one of these, it rises and falls to, um, to the top, and that way you have binding that matches the top. So as Clint Smith would say, happy meal. So if you have any questions about our new binding contraption, or if you want me to send you the old binding contraption and you're willing to pay postage, let me know. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you click the subscribe button. This is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you, if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody.